Hey guys, what's up? We're gonna do some video footage today of uh, my car and then Andrew's car. Um, just gonna go do some basics, uh, you know, just do some pulls on the highway and uh, just some video footage. We're on top of the north, or we're on top of the parking deck currently. But uh, we're just waiting for everyone to get up here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's like mountains in the back right here. It's pretty cool. But uh, should be pretty fun. Um, I'm just park currently, but we did an oil change last night on my car, but uh, it, it wasn't too bad. We'll include that in one of our videos upcoming. But, uh, I waxed my car about a week ago for caffeine and octane and uh, it's still pretty shiny. I don't know where Andrew or Ian is. It's a pretty far uh, far drop. Uh, it's a pretty cool view. No one up here. Alright. Stay tuned until they come up here. Dude, guys, finally Ian's here. Finally Ian's here. His dad's Xterra. He doesn't want attention. He's drove away. Do you understand that, dude? Do you understand that? I don't understand it, dude. Ian's Trans Am is pretty cool. Finally, when he gets it up here, he hasn't had it for a year. He's just been sitting in his house. I don't know why he's barking over there. He's trying to be normal. There it is. Let's walk over here. Look at this though. The bull bar. Okay, dude, we're wearing the same shirt. No! We're wearing no. the same. Do you see this right now? We're wearing the same shirt. I got it for Christmas stuff. So. And Vans. And then he's wearing his whatever Hollister <laughs> jeans those are. He's still in high school. Oh, yeah. I like the exterior, bro. Thank you, man. Yeah, my dad. Alright, Ian. Go over and uh, explain this for us. What is Wait, done what? to it? What? What is done to it here? Alright, so my dad and I... Uh, See this bowl bar? This bowl bar on there. It's lifted like six, six inches, something like that. See that? That's a six inch lift right there. We're all so <laughs> no, we're all crazy off roading experience right here. Ian took it off roading and just snapped this all off in the mirror. Hit a tree. He still hasn't told his dad yet, but his dad will understand when he watches this video. You know. Yeah, there's like a space plate for this. It fell off. We were, my dad and I were kayaking and stuff. <laughs> Face plates on the lights. Yeah. They're supposed to be like. So supposedly there's an intake on this thing. I guess he's gonna it show. Fell off. <laughs> it fell off again. Probably. It fell off last night and we had to put it back on. Got that Michigan rust right there. Snow life. Oh, there it is. Oh, it <laughs> fell off again, dude. <laughs> it fell off again. Yeah, it keeps falling off, dude. You have to go get another one. Yeah, no, that's not or good. glue it that's back good. on. It's not good at all. See, they gave us like bra like brackets, but it didn't. It wouldn't like connect them. <laughs> that other intake looks so like stock intake looks so stupid. Yeah, it's pretty clean though. How many miles are on it? Two hundred thirty-eight, I think. Oh my goodness, dude! It's still running nice. It is. That's crazy, dude. It feels like it lasts forever. 228. I think I have uh, 56 on my car. 56,000. And I've had my car for four years. There you go. There it is. There it is. How did this fall off? You run it in the water or something? No, like, they didn't, they didn't really fit very well. Super 4x4. Four four. Oh, man. That's, it only has one? There's only one? Yeah, we don't know where the other one is. I think it's in the garage. <laughs> I mean, it might be on the ground somewhere in Florida, though. On the ground somewhere. Dude. Can't get around. It's not too bad, man. It's a little rust, but it's it's pretty clean for two hundred and forty thousand miles. I just love like it's 
pretty much the stock height in the front and then it's kind of like looks like a is this a body lift or a suspension lift in the back a little bit or is this how they come stock okay i got you oh yeah Ooh. this tire was like so low yeah yes you said the tire was what it was at, it was at 15 sbi 15 like aren't they supposed to be at like 32 yeah it's at 30 it's at like 30. <laughs> oh my god all right so tell us about your trans am trans am 97 Trans Am, 5.7 liter V8. Uh, um, the guy I bought it from, um, the guy I bought it from actually like rebuilt the engine and made it four thousand type thing. So it's like pretty fast. My dad and I were gonna buy like a stock one and just like build it up, but we got that one first deal. So all right, we got T tops, Magnafol exhaust, BBK headers, um, uh, Ram air intake, Nitto tires. Yeah, Nitto tires. What are you running? Three fifteens in the back. Yeah, 15s in the back, uh, Z06 full got ribs. Woo! LS1 engine. So. All right, all right. Oh, yeah. Well, it'll be up here in the next it'll be up week. Here. Yeah. In the next week. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, all right. Sounds good. Okay. All right, so Andrew's going to introduce his car. This is my 2014 56 Mustang. Woo! Um, it's slow. <laughs> it's, uh, it's got a Steeda cooler intake and a tune from MPT. It's got all the attacks on it and uh, some. Uh, the American Muscle? American Muscle rims. Are these? Oh, uh, you can't go wrong with Mickey Thompson 305s. Gotta have that tire on the back. Because I mean, like, you can't go wrong with that 500 horsepower on the V6 Mustang, you know? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah? yeah? Oh, those Borla's, though, dude. One of the loudest exhaust systems that you can buy for. Look at that, how wide that is, though. 305s. We've been on a few mountain runs, so you can tell kind of the wear on the tire. It's perfectly tinted. Oh, yeah. You want to show them the engine bay a little bit? Look at this clean interior. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. I don't know, it rained this morning and like it's just I forgot my rain boots, guys. <laughs> so much water. It's just this random puddle on the whole top of the parking deck. Yeah. I gotta clean this. Woo! It's dirty. He he says it's a little dirty, but I don't it's pretty clean to me. Look at that, I can see the ground. It's pretty impressive. Look at this big air intake. Holy crap. It's like twice the size of Ian's and mine. <laughs> but, uh, so what have you done so far to it? Just the cold air intake. Just the cold air intake? Yeah, no okay. headers, nothing. Look at that nice little cat down pipe right there. Mm. My rust on my corrosion <laughs> on my battery terminal. Dude, I have the same thing <laughs> on mine. I'm gonna fix that. But. Andrew also has a Fox body. It's amazing, dude. You want to tell him about that? It's a 91 uh, GT. It's got a 331 stroker motor in it. It'll rock aluminum heads, BBK headers, uh, aluminum drive shaft. Uh, it's got GT40 upper and lower intake. It's got, uh, it's got a B303 Ford racing cam in it. It's Oof. got uh, a BBK all air intake. That's pretty much it. It's got Nitto 275s, 255s up front, um, and that's about it. Oh yeah, and uh, we'll be showing you guys that in another video, but we're going to be uh, turboing it too in the next few months. Yeah. So that'll be one of our videos, putting the turbo on and everything. And uh, so it's stock like 315, 315 to the wheels or yeah. 320? Well, stock is like 25. Well, stock, so then <laughs> what he's done so far, it's about 315 to the yeah. wheels. So. You know, the turbo on there is going to be running about like four, 450, yeah. 460, and then the, the whole engine can probably hold around 500, so we'll see how that works on it, but it'll be pretty fun, pretty fun, I think. Nice little video, but it's it sounds amazing, so. Yeah, that's basically his Mustang. It's pretty, pretty nice for what it is. Very clean. You don't see very many clean ones, but.
Alright guys. Alright guys, this is my 2009 Subaru WRX STI. Uh, I've had it for about four years now. Um, I haven't done too much to uh, the engine bay or anything. Just basically an Xeddy Stage 1 racing clutch. Um, and then uh, I actually bought the car with Stage 2 on it already, so it's pretty nice. Um, and you know, some Stage 2 on it. Stage 2 Cobb tune, and I also have an access port in the car. Um, I actually just got it tuned as well uh, by Pulse Tuning. So, if you we'll put the link in the description for him, uh, he's amazing. Uh, he does engine builds and all that for Subarus, he specifically, does Subarus. Um, he's great at tuning, so definitely throw that in the link below. But, uh, I'll show you the engine bed. It's pretty dirty. It is what it is. It's a Subaru. It's just a Nothing too much. Um, there's the intake. You know, it's kind of JDM right now because when I got my, about like a year and a half ago, someone stole my, my cold air intake right there at the bottom. The, the filter actually fell off and someone took it. So I had to go to the audience and just get it on there. So it looks pretty ratchet, but you know, it does the job. And as Andrew was saying, I also have erosion on my. This my look at that BF39 turbo stock. Everything is basically Huge stock. Down the parent type right there. Right there. <laughs> down pipe. It's a small turbo. But in the future, so forge internals and everything, and uh, bigger turbo. Oh, that's nice right there. But there you go. Be future build. <laughs> I've also done a lot of cosmetic stuff to the car on the outside. Uh, I love horns. As you can see in the front. I actually just lowered it on H&R Sport, Sport, Sportline Springs. So I lowered it about an inch and a half. But I'm running uh, XXR 527s on the car. As you can see right there. I just changed the badge. You know, it's originally silver and I put it black. I got rally armor, youth rain mud flaps. I also put in NVIDIA N1 exhaust on a cat back. Never be salty, guys. That's the one sticker on my car. I've had it on there since I bought the car. <laughs> but that's basically my car. And, uh, yes. Alright guys, we're going to do some uh, rolling shots and pulls on the highway for you guys, so hope you like it. Here we go.
Oh yeah, here wait. Alright. <laughs> Guys. Peace out. Gas pedal garage. Here we are. The start of it.